From the formal viewpoint, objects and attributes are symmetric. We can do with objects whatever we can do with attributes, and vice versa. Instead of exploring attribute implications, we can explore object implications. There is implications between object subsets using the same algorithm but applied to a dual context. The one where the roles of objects and attributes are interchanged. Let's look at an example where this makes sense. In linguistics, people study how words with similar meanings are related together. Such words are grouped together into a so-called semantic field. But the structure of a semantic field can be quite complex and it can even differ from one language to another. Let's look into the semantic field that includes English words such as puddle, pond, river and cow. They all refer to different bodies of water, but for example a puddle comes and go, while the other three things are sort of permanent. So let's start with a simple formal context with just one attribute and try to get more attributes using object exploration. So we have four words, puddle, pond, river and cow, and uh, only puddle is temporary. So let's add the second attribute, constant. The others are constant. Uh, if we now run object exploration, the first question may be, is it true that canal implies pond and river? This should be interpreted as follows. Is it true that every meaning of the word canal is also shared by the words pond and river? Here a possible counterexample is uh, um, running. Because canal is something that runs, while pond is not. Pond is stagnant. So let's add uh, running here and so puddle is not running anywhere neither is pond but river is running and canal is also running so the next question could be is it true that canal implies river we have this question because in our context river and canal are so far completely identical. They both have the same properties. Well, here the answer, the answer could be again no. And uh, we could add a meaning, the meaning um, artificial. If we believe that canals are artificial. Well, I guess sometimes you can use uh, the word canal to denote something that is natural, but this is subjective. So let's write artificial as a new attribute. And uh, puddle is certainly not artificial. Pond, well, usually pond is artificial. River is not and canal is. And we can continue like this, adding new attributes and accept invalid object implications just as we do in attribute exploration. Only the other way around. After we finish object exploration, we can start attribute exploration to get more words into this semantic field. And we can interchange these two process, object exploration and attribute exploration, and maybe in the end we'll get a lattice like this one, which is good enough to feature on the cover of the main textbook on formal concept analysis.